Hello, FM. Today is Tuesday, May 14th, an odd day. I'm Kevin. And I'm Kyle. And in today's announcements, seniors, show off your post-graduation plans tomorrow by wearing a t-shirt, clothing, or other accessories that represent your plans after high school. Plan to film in the foyer during free, uh, during free periods for a senior video tomorrow, too. Stay tuned for a schedule and location. Please note that only student athletes should be in the sports study hall. All other students should be going home or staying after with a teacher. Summer school registration is now available. Stop by the counseling office if you plan to take your health class through the duration of the summer. This week you have the chance to buy tickets for prom and ball, but not today. No ticket sales today because of the faculty meeting. Prom is $50 and ball is $55. If you are bringing a guest to ball from outside the FM district, please submit a completed guest form to the SAO for approval before purchasing the guest ticket. Guest forms are due in the SAO by Friday, May 24th. And now over to Kevin. Thanks, Kyle. All National Honor Society members must bring their, must bring their Camp Good Day donations to either Miss Lawakshu's room 1205 or Mr. Worm's room 1216 by Friday at 3 p.m. Any questions, please see your officer. <laughs> While the seniors are donating to the cause, do the rest do the rest of you want to volunteer at Camp Good Days this summer? Applications must be tuned in, turned in tomorrow. Visit their website. To, uh, visit their website or see Mrs. Deblois and Miss Mason for more details. While college sports fans are busy looking at baseball, softball, and lacrosse playoff pictures, here's Charlie with a look back at college basketball's March Madness. The month of March is a very exciting time of year, where heroes get remembered, but legends never die. The NCAA basketball tournament, a.k.a. March Madness, starts in late March and takes place for two weeks. This creates an atmosphere of fun mixed with competitiveness between family and friends. The top 64 teams in college play in a bracket-style tournament, all with the same goal in mind, bring home that trophy. The last few years, everybody in FM High School, from students to staff, had the opportunity to fill out one of these brackets to try and predict the winner of both the men's and women's tournaments. The top three people in each bracket win a t-shirt and bragging rights. Mrs. Petrulis, our head library media specialist, brought this exciting event into FM. She wanted to connect the students in a more unique way than just the traditional uses of the library. I think when I became a librarian here, um, which is seven years ago now, um, I wanted things that kids would be connected to in the library that would not just be traditional coming to the library researching and studying, which are great things to do, but libraries should be a lot more. UConn won their second championship in two years, while South Carolina won their second in three years. But the real winners here were Vincent Hunt winning the women's bracket and Mrs. Fiorito winning the men's bracket. For FMTV, I'm Charlie Adnizio. Thanks, Charles. Tonight is a busy night in Hornet sports. Softball takes on CNS at home at 5 p.m., and Unified Basketball is at home against Kez at 5 p.m. in the House One Gym. After the games, come support Paige's Butterfly Run by coming to the Boys Varsity Lacrosse Tailgate tonight at 5 p.m. on Pride Hill. Boys Lacrosse will play CNS at 7. Senior night, guys. Good luck also to the girls lacrosse team who is on the road to CNS. Go Hornets. Well, that's all we have for today. I'm Baby Gronk. And I'm Kevin. Have a great have day, a great day FM. FM.